Arsenal, was that painful to watch, difficult to take tonight? I'm against a truly excellent side, but even so. Yeah, it's very painful to watch because I believe that uh, defensively uh, we were extremely poor. Did never look like a team who uh, recently played uh, uh, as a unit, and uh, overall it's a top disappointing performance. The crazy thing is that uh, we looked always like we could create chances, we could come out at the back, uh, but I feel overall. Uh, it's a very disappointing performance and uh, you have as well to congratulate Bayern, they are by far the better team tonight. What was the difference between this game and the first? Was the intensity lacking, sort of pressing, concentration? Yes, uh, all of that, no pressing, no concentration, uh, no challenges. Uh, we watched them play and uh, <laughs> they are a good side and uh, we paid for it. Where does this leave Arsenal now in terms of qualifications? Is it a bleaker uh, picture as it seems? It leaves us short, of course. Uh, it will be very tight now, but we have to fight until the end. Let's hope that Bayern beats uh, Olympiacos here and that uh, we win at home against Zagreb. At least we'll have a chance in the last game if, we, if that happens uh, to qualify. It's pessimistic, I know, but it's, it, it does have a considerable impact on the club if you don't make the last 16 of the Champions League, in terms of prestige. Yeah, of course, uh, but uh, uh, we are not there yet and uh, we still know no big the, the chances are. We have absolutely to give everything and uh, realise that uh, what we did tonight, uh, that will never be good enough to qualify anyway. And there's no time to take a breath. You've got a North London derby this weekend. Is there any positive injury news at the likes of Koscielny or, or Bellerin? No, not yet. No, I don't think that Bellerin will be available. No, Koscielny, we have a little hope. We have to see on Friday, Saturday. Thank, Thank you for your time.